Blank is wrapping up a four day spectacle that was a huge success. The official attendance numbers aren't out yet, but organizers and business owners in downtown and OTR already say this was a great first run. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live tonight in the middle of Blank and Brad, what are the crowds like tonight? Yeah. Well, Megan, I know you've been out here a couple of times and just seen how uh, successful, how popular Blink has been over the last four days. And here, even 10 o'clock, just driving through downtown, still a lot of people in and out of the streets. You still have a couple of hours left to come check out Blink. The organizers really didn't know how successful it would be. It's really over estimations uh, for them. Very pleased with uh, the turnout. And I'll tell you who else is very happy with this. The businesses who are cashing in on Blink. <laughs> From the banks to just north of Finley Market, the sidewalks are full of people and the streetcar is packed tight. Everywhere you turn, a bright image catches your eye. It's great for the banks, downtown and over the Rhine, as hundreds of thousands of people spend the days and nights at Blink over the past four days. And I think, you know, when you have thousands of people in an area like this, that it starts to help erase some of the stigma of it not being safe. Um, which we find it perfectly safe because we're down here all day. Um, but people that haven't been in the area for a while, you know, they, I think they still feel like that. But then this comes along and I hope it, I hope, I hope that it helps change their mind. And luckily for Seth Barnes, they've got to eat. Week before this week, we did really well. And then this week's obviously been an exceptional week. Barnes is the GM of Harvest Pizzeria in Over the Rhine across from Finley Market. Business for him and others like Jean Robert's French Crust has been outstanding thanks to all the people attending Blink. It's been the absolute best business we've done. Definitely, it's, it's, um, it seems to pick up around 5.30, 6, and it doesn't stop ever <laughs> until we stop it. So, I mean, the, the business, it's been awesome. That's not just uh, Finley Market or even the banks. It's almost everybody in between Gilpins on 7th. They were supposed to close for good last weekend, but through requests from uh, patrons and the fact that Blink was coming up, they decided to stay open one more weekend. They also cashed in on this weekend. Reporting live outside the courthouse, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Megan. Brad, thank you. Blink organizers expect to release final attendance numbers tomorrow.